Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I am continuing in our Instagram series of trying to build something like Instagram. Um, and what better to use to rebuild Instagram than something that Instagram uses to build Instagram. And what I mean by that is the IG list kit. Actually what they're using in their app to display for their collection view actually. So I'm not going to read through this documentation. I will provide the link below so you can get a better feel of what exactly it's doing and why it's doing it. But we're going to go ahead and just maybe look at a couple of these links down here. So the, the first place I came was kind of here just to see what people have done. Um, as you see, there are a few tutorials. And if I click on this link about from Instagram about this, this project. So as you see this picture here, uh, we have this post and basically this is kind of broken out how Instagram says that they're using this. So they have all in one collection view, they have these different cells that compri comprise of actual posts. So they have the header cell, the media cell, um, some action cells, this uh, count, uh, comments, and other things. So that's, this is how they put together a post. So we're gonna try to use this and hopefully you guys could figure out a way to use this in your own projects if you're doing something separately. I just wanted to show you guys what a post looked like. Um, to kind of visualize what we'll be doing here. So let's go ahead and get our pods installed for this project. Okay, so here I am in um, Xcode. And what we're gonna need to do is we're going to need to update our pod file. Now I've up already updated my pod file. Of course you want to use the pod for the IG list kit. So you wanna make sure you have that. I have a bunch of uh, pods here for Firebase, which is what we've been using this entire tutorial um, as a backend and authorization. Uh, I actually installed this SD web image for displaying images. You don't have to do this part, but I will be using this in this video. And I also installed this pod reusable. Now, and that's just so we can make some of our, our nib and our, our cell files reusable. Um, components. Okay. So once you add these to your pod file and do your pod install, you should be ready to go. I will say clean and build. Um, and hopefully everything works out just perfectly. It's some of the things that we're not going to need. So here, as you remember, we added this collection view to our, uh, view controller, but because we're going to be using, I'm just going to, because we're going to be using um, the IG list kit, we won't actually need the collection view. So I'm just going to just select that and just delete it because we don't need it anymore. Now we will need a UI view, however. So I'm just going to grab a UI view from here. And just drop that on here. And in our controller, we had a actual a link to this UI collection view. We don't need that no anymore either. So I'm just gonna delete that as well. And then just drag our new UI view into our feed controller class. So that way we have access to it. So I'm just going to do this. I'm gonna close some of this stuff. And I'm just going to drag in my view. Now, the one thing before I do that, I actually need to change this, this views class. So I'm going to cancel that. I need to change this views class. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and change the class to IG list collection view. Okay, so now before you drag, you wanna make sure that you have this IG list collection view as an option. And now we're going to go ahead and drag it into our view controller. So it's gonna say type IG list collection view, and we're gonna just call this collection view. 
While IG list uh, collection view is a framework that is done by uh, Instagram is still a collection view. So just a little fun fact. All right, and I'm just gonna clean up some things in here to get ready. We won't, we won't need this any longer. Um, because we're not doing a collection view, we do not need any of this. So I'm gonna delete that as well. Um, I won't need this because we said we won't have to reload anymore. So we're gonna trust that we won't. And we actually don't need any of these functions that for the collection view. So let's go ahead and just delete all of this out of our collection view. Okay, so we'll still need to load our data. However, we won't need to reload our data, right? So let's go ahead and just get rid of that as well. All right, and let me just open this up a little bit more because it looks crazy and just get rid of this. And of course, get rid of these here because we won't need that as well. Now it's yelling at us because it has no clue what this is. So we're just going to go ahead and import IG list kit. And the last thing I want to do in this video to get us set up is I just want to clean up this kind of structure. We have ev things everywhere. just to make things a little easier to find. Um, and our next video, uh, cause I don't want these videos to be too long. We're going to be changing our model and talking about IG list diffables and what exactly that is and how to set up our model. So I hope to see you guys uh, in, next, in the next video. The next video will be right behind this video. I'm literally recording them back to back, but I didn't want them to get too long because no one wants to sit for 40 minutes. Um, but yeah, so make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video.